This is a tip number 70. It's a large leaf tip. And the interesting thing about these leaf tips is you don't just have to make leaves. If you decide to use more of a shell motion, um, you can make this cool ruffle effect, which is a lot of fun. And you don't have to use a tip number 70. You could use any of the leaf tips, the number 66 or the 67. The number 70 is a little bit larger. And you can also vary the ruffle a little bit. You see in the one I just did there, I made it a little bit bigger and thicker towards the middle, or you can make them be the same size throughout. Again, it's just a simple shell motion piped using a large leaf tip instead of a star tip. And pretty much just like anything else, you could have the pattern be a little bit more open. If you didn't want the ruffles to be real tight, you could have them a bit more spaced out. Or um, you could simply just have them really close together and make a tighter ruffle. It's totally up to you. There's a lot of versatility with this. Next, I'm going to use this tip number 86, which is a tip that the top part is like a star tip and the bottom part is more like a petal tip. And I'm going to pipe this upright zigzag. This is an interesting technique. Um, I haven't actually seen it before. I saw it on this practice board sheet. But what's cool about it is the star tip part of the tip sort of gives it a nice wide base. And then the petal tip with this upright zigzag tapers off towards the top. So it does give you a nice little three-dimensional effect. And remember the trick with any kind of zigzag technique is to maintain steady pressure as always, but also try to keep the zigzags of an even height. This tip number 74 has an interesting opening. It's like a star tip, only the two bottom prongs are a little bit longer than the other three. Um, prongs and it gives you this really cool ruffle and you can vary the ruffle depending on how you hold the tip. Um, right here I'm just demonstrating how to use it making a zigzag ruffle um, and you know it's one of these tips that I never really paid much attention to until I saw it on this practice board sheet but now that I've played around with it I really really like it because it does give you a, a different effect than just a regular star tip. And again, depending on which way you hold the tip, you'll get a slightly different ruffle effect. I think that's really cool. I like the variety. I do not have the tip number 402 or the tip number 100 that's required to make the um, other zigzag and then the large shell type effect techniques that are on here. So I apologize about that. Okay, and the last technique that I'm going to show you on this practice board sheet is I'm going to use a pedal tip number 103 to pipe a side S motion. Notice that I have the wide end of the tip pointing down towards the surface of the practice board. The narrow end is pointing up, and I'm just simply piping a S motion that overlaps a little bit. This is a technique that I had not seen or tried before um, doing this practice board video. And I'm not entirely sure I like it. Uh, I'm not even sure what sort of application it would have. But since I have a number tip 103, I figure I might as well show it to you.